call for the third time in three months. There will be a break in between SpaceX rocket launches. Not everything went perfectly during Saturday's spectacular liftoff of Crew 9. The weather cooperated barely, but once two astronauts were on their way to the International Space Station, debris from part of the rocket designed to burn up in the fire at, in the atmosphere fell in a different part of the ocean than it was supposed to. Now, we're not talking about the rocket booster that landed as planned at the Cape. The mishap happened with the upper stage. Now SpaceX won't be launching again before figuring out what happened here. News 6's James Barbero tells us what he's learning. I'm happy to report that Falcon 9 did safely deliver Dragon and the crew to their intended orbit. After the launch Saturday, SpaceX reported Nick Haig and Alex Gorbanov were on their way to the International Space Station. But what we didn't know yet was that after separation from the capsule, the upper stage of Falcon 9 misfired during its deorbit burn. Now, normally that engine firing makes the second stage burn up in the atmosphere and any leftover debris falls into a specific region of the ocean. This time, however, SpaceX says that debris landed somewhere else in the Pacific. Stage two is in terminal guidance. A liquid oxygen leak from an upper stage created all this ice on a rocket and grounded Falcon 9s for just over two weeks in July. Stage one landing lane deploy. And then in August, it only took three days before the FAA let SpaceX fly again, when during a landing, the first stage of a Falcon 9 tipped over and burst into flames. We still learn something every single time we fly. We've had our, our share of hardware challenges that the NASA teams have been incredible to work through with us. So. so now Bill Harwood and I from CBS, we're wondering how many launches in October might be affected. Bill, it's the busiest launch schedule ever at the Cape, and we're thankful you're joining us on a Zoom on a day off, which doesn't happen too often around here. Some of these missions coming up for SpaceX they have very specific time constraints, so it's probably better they get to the root of this problem sooner than later. Yeah, absolutely. You know, getting this problem fixed is critical for NASA and the European Space Agency. ESA wants to launch a mission to an asteroid on top of a Falcon 9. And just a few days later, NASA is trying to launch the $5.2 billion Europa Clipper mission to Jupiter's moon Europa. They have very short planetary windows. They have to get off within those windows or these missions would face a significant delay. A Starlink launch was planned Wednesday, but now it looks like the next launch here could be ULA's Vulcan Centaur. After its maiden launch in January, Vulcan's second flight could be Friday. Today, United Launch Alliance rolled the 200-foot rocket to the launch pad. At Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.